Poultry producers across the Commonwealth will be on the lookout for signs of the bird flu amid an outbreak detected in two counties in western Kentucky. But agriculture experts say even people with backyard birds need to be careful. Evelyn Schultz joins us in the studio this morning. And Evelyn, you visited an urban chicken coop right in the middle of downtown Lexington. Chris, that's right. It was pretty cool. We got to see that urban coop up close and see those birds. We learned how one small scale farmer protects his chickens from disease. Outside this backyard chicken coop. Hey girls. Travis Robinson greets his flock. Robinson is known as the happy farmer. We reached out to him because he's in charge of a co-op dedicated to urban chicken keeping. He's cared for chickens in his backyard near downtown Lexington for 12 years. It's just a matter of sort of keeping them safe and making sure that um, they're having a best life that they can have. Living their best life includes keeping chickens free from diseases like the bird flu. That's why Robinson took certain steps to protect his poultry even before the recent outbreak. One of the things that makes me less concerned is um, taking measures to have proper biosecurity here in my backyard. Robinson has one pair of shoes that never leave his backyard to avoid tracking in the virus from the outside. His bird feeder also sits empty so sparrows don't congregate in his yard and potentially infect his chickens. She's, she's the same breed. The Department of Agriculture has the same advice. So far, officials say bird flu has only been detected at poultry facilities in Fulton and Webster counties. But because this disease can be deadly for domesticated birds, they want chicken keepers across Kentucky to pay attention and report birds if they're sick. Back at his urban farm, Robinson isn't overly concerned, but he also knows when it comes to the health of these chickens, he can't just wing it. I want to make sure that um, that, it, that nothing spreads to my birds, which would be a, a total flock loss, basically. I also don't want it to spread it to other people's birds. Keep in mind, the CDC says it's rare for humans to become infected with the bird flu. The virus also doesn't pose a threat to food safety. Eggs and poultry are safe to eat if they're handled and cooked properly. Chris, back to you. Evelyn, thank you.